Good morning. I'm Dory, and this is my tiny home. Welcome to Marlin Village in Bayfield, Colorado. Yeah, I'm going to be 76 in October. I worked for 45 years as an occupational therapist and I was a specialist in orthopedic rehab for the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand. It was a very rewarding career. With that, during the time, I had three children and pretty much raised them alone because I was divorced unexpectedly. They've all turned out really wonderful adults. It makes me very proud. 2020, I was still working as a therapist and things were pretty rough with COVID. I was really kind of ready to retire. I just kind of told them that rather than laying half of the staff off half of the time, why don't they just let me go? And that's what happened. I did retire then. I'm still credentialed. I could still work. I have chosen not to. I'm having too much fun, you know. I like to travel. I do have a lot of hobbies in, in terms of interests. I haven't been doing all of them, but I love to power walk. I power walk two to four miles a day. Go to the gym pretty much every other day, stay fit and healthy. I'm going to take some gourmet cooking classes, just, just for fun. I've been living in this tiny home for six and a half months and it is 34 and a half feet long by 10 and a half feet wide. And it is almost 16 feet high. So this is the lot where I park my car. And this whole park has a lovely amenities. The view is spectacular. We've got lovely flowers. My patio goes down into a little backyard and I get to use that. I have a garden over here. I've planted some vegetables. People plant flowers. It's just lovely here. This is the seating area, kind of like my view spot for the sun setting and the beautiful mountains in the distance. I'm kind of a black and white and gray person with my house and Linda said I needed to perk up my house so she gives me this lovely yellow table and I am very attached to it. So this is my Hopi Indian maiden bronze statue, life size. And I bought her in Sedona. She was built by an artist named Susan Clewer. And I've had her for 20 years, and I love her. She goes with me everywhere. The next phase of the backyard is the staircase that takes you down to the fire pit and another relaxing place to sit. I sit down there. When it's shady and it's hot here, I sit down there. So now we're at the back of the house, and you'll notice that there is a back door, something that I requested special so that I would have two exits from my tiny home. So that's it for our outside tour. Let's go inside. Welcome to the Big Tiny Home. My home is 340 square feet if you don't count the lofts, which are 100 square feet each. One of the things I love about the house is the volume of space and the light that comes in from the upper windows. It feels like I'm almost outdoors. This home is actually for sale. I've made a decision to move in with my boyfriend in Florida and that was the reason I'm putting it on the market. Do you know what feels amazing? Pouring your heart out to an incredibly good listener. And that's what I deeply appreciate about the therapy that I've received through BetterHelp, today's video sponsor. BetterHelp is on a mission to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. This is so important because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when limited to local options. Online therapy is just so darn convenient. And that's what empowered me to give it a try. 
But more than that, a high quality professional therapist makes you feel safe and supported. And in my experience, being vulnerable is really tough, but that's what it takes to heal and to grow using the invaluable tools gained in therapy. Getting started with BetterHelp is super easy. Fill out a few questions and get matched with a professional quickly. And if you don't click with the first one, no worries. You can easily switch to another at no additional cost. So whether you're struggling with a clinical mental health issue or just going through a difficult time, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash tinyhouse or click the link below and help our channel. This living room is accommodating a regular sized couch and I've got some things I've collected over the years that I couldn't part with even though I'm a minimalist lady these days. And a live edge coffee table. And then I've got my moon pod over here, which is very special. So this is one of the pieces of furniture that I did not sell when I sold my house. Uh, my, it's kind of a memento from my son who bought this for me. And it is big, and it, but it fits in the big tiny. And here is the breakfast nook, very handy with the granite coming over for leg room. It's very comfy. So now we're going to come into where the front doors are, which is uh, French doors. So when I have both doors open, I turn this chair around and I feel like I'm sitting out on the patio. The color scheme of this house is gray and shades of gray and black and white. And I just wanted a countertop that was maintenance free and color coordinated and I just love this granite. It's really beautiful. So I have lots of cabinet space here and then I have a dishwasher that's a full size that you would have in any home. And I have this lovely faucet. So this is a double size sink and it's stainless steel, uh, deep, great for washing pots and pans. So now we come into the area of the stove, full-sized gas stove and a full-sized microwave above. I specifically requested to have full-size appliances because I didn't want to compromise my lifestyle and I feel like I'm in a regular kitchen in a regular house. All my doors are uh, soft clothes with plenty of storage space for dishes, knickknacks, so on this side, the staircase that leads to the master loft is actually storage space. I have a little pantry and clothes closet, upper and lower, pots and pans, other dishes, anything you want. I retired from work and I had a home, a really lovely home, and I was living alone. And I just thought, you know, I really want to travel. I want to have fun in my retirement. And the house was keeping me down. And so I thought, well, I think I can manage if I sell the house. I'll just go live with different family members. I've got three wonderful sons and their wives and girlfriends. And I thought, this will be good. And then I started hearing about tiny homes out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from. I just, I heard about it, so I looked into it, I looked online, and just thought, this looks like it would be affordable. I, you know, I'm on a strict budget. So it took me about a year to really make that commitment. And when I did, I just went out and contracted and waited for the house, and here it is, <laughs> you know. The company that I hired is Tiny Custom Homes of Colorado. The product that they produced is fantastic. I'm in love with this tiny home. It's solid, it's airtight, watertight, it's roomy, and the vaulted ceiling, and it's got every amenity. I love it. The company that I hired is no longer in business and I don't know exactly why. So the final price with all the additions that I requested and that I was able to uh, accommodate on my own after I got the house delivered uh, was about a hundred grand. I think that is very reasonable. 
here in Marlin Village, the rent for a lot is $650. If you need a storage unit, there's two sizes. There's the smaller one, which I'm renting, and that's $28, so it's reasonable, a month. They provide uh, water, sewer, trash, and snow removal. I pay for Wi-Fi and electric and propane. I would say the best lifestyle goal that I have experienced is that I can be specifically close to Durango, Colorado, which is a place I've wanted to be all my life because I can't afford the other houses. <laughs> and then we go into the bathroom by way of the barn door, which I absolutely love. And as we come in, you'll see this monster washer and dryer because it too is full size. One of the things that I've noted with this house is the bathroom is so comfortably large. It, I have cabinets for clothing. I have another closet for coats and plenty of space to move around in. I don't feel like I'm cramped at all. And my back door, which exits the, to the patio. The shower is three feet by three feet square. And the toilet is a normal flush toilet, normal size. Which I chose because I, again, did not want to compromise my lifestyle. All right, let's go upstairs to the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. I chose this bedroom because of the staircase. It was more convenient for me on a daily basis. And I have a full-size king bed, plenty of space on both sides, two wonderful windows that give me a great cross breeze. And look, I can sit up fully and enjoy reading or doing work on my computer or sleeping. And the other side of this loft is a second bedroom loft that I have a bed and some pictures and some storage. I have actually made a decision now with all these pluses in my life in the last three years to have made this journey. I am now embarking on a new one <laughs> and I'm, I have put my tiny home for sale for the very reason that uh, my boyfriend made me an offer that I can't refuse, and that is to come and live full-time with him in Pensacola, Florida. So that's why I'm selling my house. I love my house, but I'll have wonderful memories. The price of the house is $132,900, and it's listed on Facebook and Zillow, and with a company called Tiny House Listers. The thing that I have enjoyed the most is being in this beautiful place, I tell you. Peace and tranquility. When I am home and I'm not traveling, this is paradise for me. I just love it. Life is taking me in another path that I had never anticipated. So. Thank you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.